as you can see in there, the bracket was on the first first uh, hole there. I might have to back this up to make it get further away from the fan. But this this thing has a lot more power than my other fan, so it's gonna work out perfect. So I'm gonna put it back on here. And I'm gonna finish putting these, these holes on here. God, I wish I could take this off. So you can see the back, same pattern. That is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna put the rest of these screws in here. It goes the, uh, and it's a lock washer, I mean a washer with a lock washer and a little nut. Just hold it with my finger. That's that. Make sure I'm getting it up. The other screw in here. It's that one. Washer and lock washer. So, what I'm thinking, I think this motor right here. It finally burned out. It's, I mean, this thing is probably, I can't remember when I purchased it. I want to say I purchased it in 2000. It's been a while. I paid $500 for this unit and it's worked wonderfully all these years. Can't complain. Uh, my tank's been running for a while now. I think my reef tank has been running for, let's say four and a half years now. And, uh, I haven't had anything die on me in a long time. Daddy! Yes, sir. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. Are you clean your scooter? Yeah. All right, so now I gotta elevate this and push these studs back here so I can remount this. I gotta figure what's going on down there. So this is the extra unit now with the new motor. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off a little bit, knock off all this dust and whatever stuck to it it's pretty nasty yep. Keep it. this is the motor adjustment I might run it direct I'm not sure yet I don't really want to mess with this unit here this wire here is what controls the brain with when it tells when it turns on I set it at 78 degrees so this will turn this on but as long as this is running it doesn't affect the, the temperature in here. This is wall covered up. So this is gonna probably be running straight. I don't really wanna peel these wires. I might have to do a hole in the side over here. This thing does have a plug-in right there. So I might do a small hole and connect these two motors. I mean, there's two wires with the existing cord and plug it straight to the unit. So if the unit goes out, the whole thing goes out. So that's my plan right now. I just gotta back this up so the fan doesn't hit the shroud of the um, of the actual fan. I mean, chiller radiator. All right, let me pause this right now and do some adjustments. Okay, so it seems that I lend out my electrical kit out to somebody, so I'm kind of screwed now. But I was told that electricians' only thing they need is is uh, dikes and strippers. So, I'm gonna cut this right here. Yeah, these things are dull as hell. There it goes. All right, so here it goes. 
Yeah. Soldered on before. So I was always told the one with the little lettering is your positive right here. Here's my. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna get this with some electrical tape. I'm gonna look for it. I'm just gonna try it, see what happens here. I want to see what it does with this full RPM. And I want to make sure that it doesn't uh, it doesn't hit the shroud. So I'm gonna give it some power. Cross your fingers. There it is. It is functional. That's about the speed that the other one worked at right now, and that's on low. I could turn this up a little bit. a higher speed. Oh yeah, I got some good wind blowing out of here. You see the towel blowing out. So that's that. Now I just got to I gotta figure out if I'm up, hook it up straight, or I am going to hook it up to the actual power source. So this, when it turns on, it activates it. There goes the fan now, working. My wire nuts, and there goes the switch right there. So it is working, and I know that's gonna keep this compressor cool. It's gonna keep keep the radiator uh, cool, core. Uh, it's gonna keep the radiator core uh, cool too, and this is gonna do the job. So I'm gonna start putting this back together and try to figure out what I'm gonna do here with the electrical. All right, guys. So now I just I just put the had to pick up the unit. See some water drained out of here. Um, I put the mount in there with the fa with the new fan or well, the new used fan. And uh, I put it on the sec on the back uh, of the uh, the second row of, uh, of bolts pattern that it had. And now all I'm doing now is just gonna check the in and out on it. And you can check it just by spinning, make sure nothing hits. And, and I mean, this fan is just perfect on what's. Damn, I always thought of something. I wonder, this is the way the old fan was, seeing the blades are the same, okay, yeah, it's blowing air out that way, okay, all right, so it's blowing air through there, because it could be reversed, before this, this was made to blow, suck in the air through here, not to blow air this way, so it's sucking air, and that way, so it's just blowing the hot air from this compressor out, and that's, I want to just make sure that's right. All right, so now I'm gonna lock these back up. I'm gonna do the same to this guy right here. I might have to pick it up again. Here. And this is coming together. I'm very pleased with what's going on here. Saved me a couple hundred bucks on a new chiller. This chiller was 500 something dollars when I bought it. This was in 2000 something. So I can only imagine how expensive it would be now. As long as this doesn't go out, we're in business. 
so let me get um, a lava ranch. I'm going to have to lay this almost all the way down so I get some. I really want to make sure that's it's, it's on there pretty good. Alright guys, I just wired uh, the actual new unit to the existing uh, temperature control. I didn't record it because I didn't know if something was going to go wrong, but I got it right. Um, uh, I kind of just decided to go this route just because I don't want the fan running when the chiller is not running. It's just a waste of energy. So there it is. We're back at 100% running. All I got to do now is put it back together. I'm using the existing wire harness to run the new motor and that's going to do it. So I'm very pleased with everything. I worked out. I kind of did a maintenance cleanup. It was really dirty in there. I had it clean in a while. For quite some time actually. And I should clean it more often. That could have been a problem why maybe that went out. Kind of hard to say. But uh, there goes the old unit. And it's been replaced with a newer, more stronger motor. It's actually, I can see the transform is a little bigger maybe. Uh, maybe the same. But you can see the play. It was making it kind of wobble up and down. This used to be in the front. This. This hat in the back has more wobble. You can kind of see it go up and down. It was making it lodge itself within that little tiny space that it has. So we're up and running. That has a better housing anyways. And it's going to work. So I'm going to start putting it back. I'm going to disconnect it and start putting it back together. I'll show you how I do that.